Okay, we're going to do a flight from Miami to Nassau, Bahamas. We're going to be landing on runway 14 with a ILS frequency of 110.10 megahertz. I'm flying the Airbus A320 Nero, and we're going to use an autopilot and ILS landing and approach. Just taxing out onto the runway now. So all the pre-flight checks have already been completed. A little bit of rain falling here today. Alright, so let's just go inside the airplane for a second. This is um, control two to bring up this panel. That's our altitude there, which has already been set at 5,000. There's our autopilot switch, auto throttle, localizer button, approach hold, LS, flight direction buttons on. So control one will bring you your primary screen. There's our flight plan. We've already done on the world map and entered our runway. Uh, we just want to check and make sure uh, this is quote two, brings that panel. Control three will bring your uh, fuel and engines. Control four, control five. And here what we want to do is we want to check our flight plan and see that it is correct and uh, let's check our radio nav and there it is ILS 14 and that is the frequency for that uh, runway and I got that information from flightplandatabase.com which is free and pretty much for all your destination airports and uh, flight sim 2020 you'll be able to find the airport so there's your frequency for runway number 14 localizer so that's been entered automatically by uh, by the flight sim so control six so we want to try and once we get in the air put this on uh, climb before it goes into uh, Overspeed on us. Control eight, overhead panel. Control nine to get us back here again. So let's take a look outside. Our flaps are on. We're ready to go. Um, I'm just going to spool up the engines a bit and release the brakes. Parking brake. Control delete on your keyboard together. Release the brakes. So let's see how this goes. Get up in the air and put the autopilot on. your auto throttle on and off again so it says it's armed now we're going to engage the speed mode and you can see we have this information showing up here the auto throttle it's on autopilot now let's get uh, let's get that thing into climb mode just gonna move it up just a titch there, right there. Get it into climb and activate Over speed. this. Over speed. Over 
over speed. So we're getting over into speed. over speed, but once I put the uh, altitude on and, you know, uh, took care of that, engage selected altitude mode, it's going to go to 5,000. The auto throttle's on, so it should automatically be uh, controlling our speed. And we're in the engage speed mode. We'll try and select the appropriate speed for what we're doing in our flight plan. So during landing, it should slow us down to the proper uh, approach landing speed. It should level off at 5,000. So every time we change the altitude, we have to hit uh, engage selected altitude mode after changing it. thousand so on this primary screen you can see the thrust climb is on for your throttle altitude is on holding your nav is on your autopilot your FD is on and your auto thrust is on so you want to watch that and this is managing the speed because we've hit that function on the stick here control So as we get closer to the airport, I will be lowering some flaps and putting down the landing gear. And uh, it should manage the speed for us. Let's see what happens. Just making a correction there for our flight plan. So let's see where we are here. Okay, so we got a different aircraft there, other traffic in the uh, vicinity. There we are right there, heading for Waypoint Majeure. And we are at 3,000 feet. Make sure you keep an eye on your barometric pressure. help make your landing a lot better when you uh, reach the runway. So we should be turning right about there. Try and hit the localizer around here and uh, the approach hold. course here, as you can see. here. 
showing eight uh, nautical miles to Madur. Estimating our time to get there. Okay, so the airplane just adjusted now its speed on its own. See speed kicked on here. So it's getting us ready. slowing down for the turn. I'm going to put the flaps down to the first setting. So I'm going to hit the localizer shortly here. I'll turn on the localizer, see if we can pick it up, and I'll hit approach hold. Ready to turn here shortly. All right, let's um, let's take a look at our progress on the FDR screen. Okay, we've got a little ways to go here yet. And let's see. It hasn't picked up the localizer yet, even though I turned it on. You can see that it's still blue when it turns green. Well, I've locked in. So it's managing the speed for us at 180 knots. Altitude is holding at 3,000. So these are the things you want to keep an eye on. Okay, we just picked up the lo localizer. Okay. So the plane is starting to adjust and turn a bit. See how far we are away. We're getting fairly close here. The plane, the plane doesn't seem to be pointed in the right direction, but I'm just going to wait and see what happens here. Because it is shooting for the localizer. It should turn to the right.
going to put on approach hold now and just switched off the localizer uh, button on here but you can still it's still functioning on localizer here and we should pick up the glide slope and when we do this will turn green so let's go inside put down our landing gear I don't think we're too far out right now. So when we see we're starting to descend here, we picked up the glide slope. And it's flying at 180 miles. Side again. It's on speed, management mode. I have not picked up the glide slope yet. But we are right on line for the runway, our, our localizer. So that's looking good. I'm just going to check the barometric pressure again by pressing B on the keyboard and it changed it slightly. So here comes our glide slope now. Let's see if we pick it up. When it hits here, it should automatically pick up the glide slope. And you'll probably see the speed management adjusts our speed. So you have to have this button on in order to be able to see this stuff. So that should turn green as soon as it hits there. Just did. So it just picked up the glide slope. Let's go outside and have a look. We're starting to descend. And it should manage our speed for us. I'm going to give it just a little bit more flaps. So I'll have to take it off of uh, auto throttle, autopilot, and I'll have to go right back to idle on our throttles and uh, put reverse thrust on. The spoilers are armed, so, so the spoilers should uh, come on automatically. I'm flying with the Extreme 3D Pro Logitech joystick. the manage speed mode does work pretty good um, managing your speed for your glide slope descent rather than you having to do it you let the computer do it so on a beautiful somewhat sunny day arriving in the Bahamas. So, real time, real weather. One thousand. So, if there's nobody on the runway. The autopilot won't do a go around and we'll be able to land.
100. 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, we die. a little bit there with the uh, reverse thrust on. So not the best landing in the world, that's for sure, but it's windy here today. You can see the, uh, that's what gave me a little problem. So, so get your uh, flaps up. We're going to stop right here and see if we can get uh, air traffic control here and help us out. Okay, so we can taxi to the gate. Following those blue uh, markers. And when we get there, we'll see what services we can conjure up. Build the stair, I think, because of the wind blowing the rudder. And here's our gate up ahead. Let's see if we can get rolling here a bit. Good. Park here at the gate. Let's see, we got some ground crew here giving us. Yep, there we go. Turn, telling us to turn a bit to the left. jetway here or not. Doesn't look like it. It's wanting us to keep going to the left. Straight ahead now. Sometimes the equipment here doesn't make any sense. There we go. Parking brakes on. We do have a jetway here. And baggage handlers and we have service vehicles like the uh, catering. So let's request the jetway. I got the sound turned off so you can't hear them confirming that I, I've requested that. Okay. So now let's ask for baggage. Here they come. Here come the baggage. I'm going to do the fuel truck because that takes forever to get here. Fuel truck is on the way. And may as well get the catering guys in on the action. And we could use some... Uh, so the back door opened up for catering. Sometimes these uh, great big green blocks disappear. Sometimes they don't. Um, you know, he brought me into there. Maybe if I was right on that line, 
it might have worked, but uh, sometimes uh, if you don't follow their instructions, the gateway won't reach the plane. Okay, so uh, let's uh, re forget the catering. Oh, well, let's do a power supply. Should be a power supply truck somewhere. There comes a fuel truck. Well, there's a power supply truck. He'll just hook up uh, auxiliary power for us. He's at it. That fuel truck sometimes takes quite a while to get there, but I guess that's our guy. Let's see if he hooks up to our plane. That's the interesting thing. Sometimes they don't. I don't even know if that's our fuel truck, to be honest. There he goes. And now, I guess he did his job. So thank you very much for joining me on this flight uh, to the Bahamas, NASA. And I uh, hope you got some assistance or help out of how to fly the Airbus. And I appreciate you joining me, and I'll catch you next time.